Joao Felix is open to a potential move. It doesn't mean that he asked the club to leave at all costs, because I'm told that this still didn't happen. But it's true that Joao is open to leave the club in uh, the new year. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market and today guys I wanted to update on two of the big names we have on the market for 2023, two possible moves for 2023 that we expect to happen but it will depend on many factors and so let's jump into it together. And so guys, of course, I wanted to discuss here with you about two players you're always asking me updates for. And so, of course, Joao Felix is one of them because he scored with Portugal at the World Cup. We know how special is this talent, but it's also true that his situation with Atletico Madrid is not that easy. Not with Atletico Madrid as a club, because the feeling between Joao Felix and Atletico Madrid has always been great with the fans, with the board. But with Diego Simeone, he's not in the regular starting 11 of Atletico Madrid, was not an easy first part of the season for Joe Felix and this is why it's true that Joe Felix is open to leaving Atletico Madrid in 2023. We will see if it will be January or if it will be summer move but Joao Felix is open to a potential move. It doesn't mean that he asked the club to leave at all costs because I'm told that this still didn't happen but it's true that Joao is open to leave the club in uh, the new year. He knows that the situation is not that easy and so this is why he's open at this time to find a new solution. We have to mention one thing, that Atletico Madrid invested more than 120 million on Joao Felix in summer 2019 is a lot of money and so people into the board are still trying to protect the player, they still hope that Joao can make it as Atletico Madrid player and not selling him, but they also know that the situation is not easy. On a technical point of view, also it means that the next club of Joao Felix has to bring a really important proposal and this is why we have to see if it will happen in January or in the summer, there is Jorge Mendes, the agent of Joao Felix, one of the most important agents in the world who is working on this possibility. He's trying to understand which club can make a really important bid, more than 120 million for Joao Felix, and trying to find a solution. Let's see what happens, especially with English clubs. Manchester United were asking of Joao Felix in the summer, but then they didn't make a bid because for Atletico was untouchable. We also know that uh, Chelsea have sent their scouts multiple times to follow Joao Felix, but also Paris Saint-Germain could be one of the options in 2023 for Joao. At the moment, still nothing advanced, but they are among clubs interested in the situation and with a very good relationship with his agent Jorge Mendes. But at the moment, no negotiation yet with Atletico Madrid and still not clear if it will happen in January or in the summer. But the player is open and so this is why we have to keep an eye on Joao Felix in 2023 with people into the board of Atletico Madrid still hoping to change the situation. Nothing probably will change for Jude Bellingham, another big name on the market in 2023, because we be almost impossible to keep the player in the summer. He's doing fantastic with England, with Borussia Dortmund in Champions League, in Bundesliga, the World Cup. Jude Bellingham is great everywhere. He's no longer news. He's an amazing player, an amazing talent. And this is why Borussia Dortmund didn't want to uh, decide any price before or during the World Cup. The price tag will be decided after the World Cup. The negotiation will take place in 2023. Of course, many clubs already had direct conversation with people close to Jude Bellingham, but not yet with Borussia Dortmund. These clubs are for sure Liverpool because as I mentioned here many times Liverpool make Jude Bellingham the top target of their summer window for 2023 so they want Bellingham at all costs and Liverpool will be in the race for Jude Bellingham. Real Madrid are also interested that they had some contacts with people close to Jude Bellingham so Liverpool, Real Madrid, Manchester City is big friend with Erling Haaland and Manchester City will go probably for a midfielder in the summer and this is why Bellingham is part of their list too. Keep an eye on Chelsea because Bellingham and last summer Frankie de Jong, two players that they always appreciated, so these are two players that remain in Chelsea list because in the summer they will go for midfielders too. So many clubs involved in this race, as I already told you a few weeks ago, Manchester United have a strong interest in Jude Bellingham, but they know that it's going to be more than difficult to sign him, but Joe Felix, Jude Bellingham's two big names on the market and absolutely not easy to decide their future now but in few weeks and so in 2023 the situation could really change Bellingham for the summer Joe Felix let's see what happens for January or also in his case in the summer and so guys let me know your thoughts on Jude Bellingham Joe Felix where do you think they will end up I want your prediction here in the comments remember to like this video turn on the notification bell you're not gonna miss any update as always guys subscribe to the channel see you soon with Fabrizio ciao